Today we're going to do a lovely neon set using CJP gel polishes. I have, now let me see if I can remember this, this is neon carrot, we have screaming green, unmellow yellow and day glow pink. Now I'm going to put two coats of each colour on these tips but I'm just going to show you this one. I am going to fully cure in between each layer. Now guys, there's a bit of a trend going around at the minute. It's hot. It's hot, 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 hot. And it's uh, it's the cling film wrap. Um I've seen I've seen it everywhere. It really is everywhere at the moment with all different types of styles. Now what I'm going to show you is how they get the black that they're putting on top. So what they're doing is they're using a hard gel mixed in with a little bit of gel polish. Now I put the gel polish on, I added a little bit of hard gel, uh, that wasn't enough so I've come in with a second bead and I'm mixing it on my palette, mix, 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 and I'm going to put it all over the first nail. So we're going to work on neon carrot and I'm going to do a thin layer. Now this will be my slip layer guys. Then I'm going to come in with a bead of this gel mix that I have and what I'm going to do is make sure it's nice and neat at the top. And then I'm going to come down with my brush and float it down that nail. Now, two things you need to be mindful of, and that is I'm not building an apex or anything like that. I'm just putting a nice thin layer. And also, I just need to have it nice and thin. I don't, you can't have it too thick, guys. You really don't, because you've got to come back in and cap this after. So I'm putting a nice, thin, but adequate amount on there I'm just gonna float it down make sure I've got that black because that's gonna give you your effect so I'm just floating it up and down that nail just to make sure that I've got a nice even layer then I'm coming in with a cling film now guys you can use anything you like some people use tools they use the end of the brush I'm gonna poke my fingers in there get in and then what I'm going to do is just tuck in those sides get it in the lamp Full cure, then I'm going to peel that off. Guys, we're going to do that for every nail. Okay? Now, this is really popular design at the moment. And you can do it with um, acrylic. You can do it with gel. I haven't done it. And the only thing I haven't done it with is acrogel. Now, I have been playing with a tip. And I did it with black. And I did this exact same method, guys. I put down the black gel polish I then came in with um, this mix I put what's what's up nails um, pigment over it. it was in a bronze color I'll find out what that is guys because I can't think off the top of my head and what I would do is pop it below in the description box because right at the end I've got a photo of it and it is it's awesome but I didn't want to use black um, I wanted to do a neon set for you guys um, but what I will do is incorporate it maybe later on uh, in a month or two in one of my videos uh, as like a full design just do like an accent nail with it but for now I wanted to bring it like this so anyway yeah I've done it on a black nail like I said the exact same method that is at the end of the video but for this one I wanted to try different pigments I wanted to see what look we could get so it's more of like a bit of an experiment and I thought get my camera out I want to do it with you guys you know I always do that so again I'm not going to show you the pink nail because I think three three lots of seeing me put gel on is quite enough as you can see I'm getting the hang of it now look I'm getting that smoky all over. Add the cling film in the lamp, full cure, peel it off. Right guys, we're gonna go in with some pigments. Now the first one I've got is a gold. Unfortunately, I don't have the name or anything on the actual pot. It's just a pot of gold pigment. And I'm gonna pop it on this neon carrot uh, gel nail. So the little finger that's got the, uh, 
the effect on with that smoky gel polish i'm just going to rub 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 that pigment into that nail then what i need to do is give it a really good dusting i don't want any of that powder on that nail when i cap it i'm going to do exactly the same to all of these three nails the only one i don't do it to guys will be the pink now i'm going to leave that just black i like to tell me what you think so here i am going to cap the nail in hard gel okay and this is where i'm going to put in my apex and my strength on my nail okay so i'm going to maneuver that bead i'm going to make sure that it's nice and neat i've got enough at that apex area and then what i'll do is i will take it off the stand i will hold it upside down and i will check from underneath that the apex is where it should be i'm going to let gravity help me build that nail then i'm going to pop it in the lamp and give it a full cure take off that tacky layer i do not want any of the other pigments sticking to that nail oh and that gold that gold pigments everywhere guys i got nail nail friend mail i did and she sent me these lovely pigments so i thought we could use them today the friend is michelle's manis she's got a youtube channel go check her out and she sent me these lovely she modern pigments never used them before so i thought we could use them today so this one is called white pigment and i thought what this might do is give it like a pearlescent finish going to do exactly the same i'm going to rub it in i'm going to dust it off i'm not going to show you the top coating the capping um the video just would be far too long then i'm going to do exactly the same on the other nail i'm going to use this one which is tinged with gold i believe and like i said the pink nail i'm going to leave pink with the black i thought i'd leave a plain one because i want you to see but you know what the finished effect is and which one you prefer so once all of these nails are fully capped in hard gel, I will file and buff them into shape. Then I'm going to top coat them. Now we are coming to the end of the video. So I very quickly want to show you that bronze look that I mentioned earlier. And here it is. I absolutely love it. What do you think? Guys, it's top coding time. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for tuning in today. I really do hope you've enjoyed our little nail play. If you have, would you mind taking a moment and hitting that thumbs up? And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. As always, everything is listed down below in the description box. And here's a picky for your reference. Guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.